Hey guys, last week we were talking about prayer and whether or not we believed in our prayers. And it seems like part of the problem is trust, right? We have to, we have to really fully be able to trust God. And I think whenever we are expressing ourselves, if we're expressing our hurts or our desires, um, sometimes it's really, it's really difficult to express those because maybe we're afraid um, that those prayers may not get answered or may not get answered in the way that we want. And uh, trust is a, is a huge, huge factor. Um, there's a guy named, I don't know if I say it correctly or not, Rabenu Baya. Um, really old book. And um, this is uh, chapter, f um, The Gate of Trust. And he's... It's Duties of the Heart, I guess, is the main volume, but this is uh, just volume number four, Gate of Trust. And um, he basically shows us that if we don't put our trust in God, we're going to put our trust somewhere else. And all of us trust in something. So if you go to the store and you buy, let's say, a loaf of bread, you're going to trust that the guy that baked that bread didn't put poison in it. You're just going to you know, pull it out of the package and start eating it, some crackers or what have you. Um, if you go to the mechanic and you have your car worked on, you know, you leave the mechanic and you immediately get on the road and you start driving and you're, you know, you're trusting that the mechanic didn't, like, you know, <laughs> make some sort of major mistake for you. So we're all putting our trust in something and we have to realize that all of us do that to some degree. So the guy that's like saying, well, I have to know everything there is to know and I have to put Hashem in this little box and be able to com completely comprehend it before I would trust him. It's like, no, it's not going to work because you, you trust stuff all the time. And uh, we need to only put our trust in God because when we start putting our, our trust in other places, um, we run into a lot of problems. Um, in in uh, Jeremiah chapter 2, 3, it's written, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the spring of living waters, to dig for themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that do not hold water. And you also have from uh, Psalm 106, They exchange their glory for the likeness of an ox eating grass. <laughs> Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and the Lord shall be his refuge. That's Jeremiah again, 17, 7. So, like, the man who trusts in God is actually blessed. So how do we develop trust? How do we really develop trust? Well, there's lots of things that go into developing trust. Um, you know, it has to, we have to be able to know that the person that we're trusting in has our best interests in mind. Um, we have to know that they're capable <laughs> of helping us, right? You wouldn't, like, okay, I know that that person, you know, loves me and would do everything they can for me, but also know that they're not capable. <laughs> so it would be hard to, to trust them um, if they weren't, if you knew for sure they weren't capable, right? Um, something that we have to realize that is that Hashem will absolutely never neglects us. So whether we're seeing something that uh, seems to be negative to us or whether it's some huge bountiful blessing we have to realize that both of those are Hashem he absolutely never neglects us I mean behold the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps he's always got his eyes upon us and so we need to realize that you know it's just him it's just him that's guiding us and when we begin to put our realization that he is all that there is <laughs> then we can we can really we can really focus that trust upon him i hope that uh hope that makes sense in some way to you guys i'm learning always learning to develop my trust in god and sometimes i think like i can I can say I trust in God, but whenever it comes down to it, you know, it's really difficult, often. Uh, but the more I put my trust in him, the more easier it gets. And I'm beginning to trust him faster. So, like, if I'm faced with a scenario where I need to trust him and 
I don't, and it takes me a long time, and eventually I do. Um, those scenarios are getting you know, shorter and shorter from the time that I don't to the time that I do, so I thank God for that. Um, and a lot of that, I think, is just coming from the results of personal prayer. So huge encouragement to you guys. Spend, spend time, set an appointment, spend time with God, talk to him, and see the results, and that will help you to help you to build that trust. All the best, guys. You are so beautiful.